Hello, welcome to Quackalo. Thank you for being here. Today we just got in the Marauders expansion for Root, a, a game that historically we have loved on this yeah. channel. And we just actually had a lot of people in for the first time since the pandemic uh, really escalated. We had a week where we had five, seven, 18 people through the house, it feels like. And we've gotten a couple gameplays of Root in, and yeah, we're we like, did. we're anticipating these expansions coming in, and they have arrived. And so we yeah. are going to do an unboxing for you, show you what is in these. Yeah, so we got two four player gameplays. I believe one filmed four player, one filmed three player. Okay, one filmed four player, one filmed three player. And then I've been playing online. Core game route. We're playing through the app to do some reviews there, and we have this, which means content is coming soon. If you're excited about full breakdowns of these new characters, full reviews of them, uh, and conversations about how to play and things you might miss along the way, because Quackaloop is very familiar with missing things in route. Uh, please hit that subscribe button down below. Over the course of the next week, we will probably have half a dozen videos coming out, breaking down everything you need to know about these expansions so you're ready to play the moment you get the box when you get home. Root the Marauders expansion. In here, we're going to have Lords of the Hundreds, or Lord of the Hundreds, a pressure woodland and burn it to the ground if need be, you suffer no descent. <gasps> And we're going to have Keepers of Iron lead your exiled order of devout knights into battle to recover ancient relics for glory. Those are the Badgers and the Rats. Oh, that's so exciting. Two more factions. And theoretically, this should balance yep. a two-player route. Okay. Because there's also going to be a system in here, a faction in here, full of smaller characters. These smaller characters should be should be the solution to playing this at lower player counts. So we have more tokens here, which looks like fires that you're gonna be setting. You wanna grab Lord of the Hundreds, or do you wanna grab the Badgers? I'll grab Lord of the Hundreds. Go ahead and read through their top abilities. I'm curious okay. about these. You are the true voice of this woodland dissenters. You are the true voice of this woodland. Dissenters will burn. The Warlord. Your Warlord is a warrior that cannot oh. be removed outside battle. Read I, this, I, I not will. that. Read this. I was going to, and oh then you're like, gosh. read the top. Yeah, I forgot that there's a whole wall of flavor text on the Playing back. the hundreds. As the Lord of the Hundreds, you score points as you oppress your foes. At the end of your turn, the more clearings you rules that have no enemy pieces, no warriors, no buildings, nothing, the more points you score. That's so cool. To grow in power and attract warriors, you must gain items and add them to your towering horde. Boots. Bags and coins increase your command, while hammers, teeth, swords, and crossbows increase your prowess. Your contempt for trade means you rarely score from crafting items, but you can steal items from enemies with your looters. Leading the hundreds is you, leading the hundreds is your warlord, a warrior demagogue whose fickle mood gives you an ability for the turn. Your warlord is obsessed with hoarding, so as you gain more items, you will have fewer moods to choose from. Declaring yourself to be the true voice of the woodland, you can incite mobs, which destroy enemy buildings and tokens and raid ruins for their items. He can raid ruins I too. Love that. It's him against the vagabond. You love the vagabond too. I love the vagabond. But he's going to be taking all of my ruins as a vagabond. Oh no. We have the keepers. As the keepers of iron in iron, you score points by recovering relics lost in past conflicts. You'll need to delve relics out of the forests, move them to a way station of the same type and then recover them. Whether these relics belong to you or the woodland, though, is another question. As devout knights of an exiled order, you ignore the first hit you take in battle. If you have both a warrior and a relic in it, whether attacking or, de or defending, you can also move relics with your warriors. Your relics are prized trophies, so keep them safe. Whenever an enemy removes a relic in any way, they score two points instead of one and put it back in any forest. Over time, you'll grow your retinue. Three columns of cards let you take actions. Delving and recovering relics will put your retinue at risk, though you will need to plan ahead and take prudent risks in order to succeed. These guys are collecting items, moving around the board with them, but those are like prize things to hit and destroy. Sounds so cool. These are going to be the uh, the changes yeah. for advanced gameplay and also for the smaller factions. Do you see some of them here? Yeah. Look, look at the eerie, the new eeries, the the, 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 the like rough and tumble cats. The Marquis de Cats. I see the Woodland Alliance over there. But they're... Where's my vagabond? There's the vagabond. What else? So, we have the big, we have the rabbit scouts, bluebird nobles, feline physicians, uh, and the brigand. And these Shira are are characters that just run as smaller factions. Oh, so that's the Spring so cool. Uprising, the Last Dynasty, Forest Patrol, and the Exile. And all of these run as smaller factions that deal and do things on board 
in, in addition to the big game of Root you're playing. Okay, and now the Hireling box. Hireling box. Hirelings are going to give you more little units to work with and use, just like I was saying and as land, well. And a landmark pack. Oh my gosh. Okay, this. We have, oh, we have a river fairy. <gasps> I love that. Was this a hedgehog? Oh, he's so cute. Some lizards. Okay. Uh, these guys look like they have, oh, That's I thought it was a Tommy gun. It's actually a fiddle. <gasps> That's a stoic protector. Oh my gosh. Look uh, at the Raven sentries. Mole Artisans, Bandit Kings. These are more of those little yeah. expansions. Lizard Envoys, Otter Divers, <gasps> um, the Secret Street Band, Badger Bodyguards, and Rat Smugglers. Yes, so across the board, there. yes. Hireling Yeah, rules. read that. Read. Well, don't read all the... Yeah, read, read the idea of it. Read the premise. Any weird things I no, should know about? No, 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 no. The, the first thing, the start of the rulebook. Hirelings. Shira. Hirelings lend their services to the faction in the lead, attracted to promises of fame and glory, but grow dissatisfied as the conflict drags on and eventually change allegiance to a new patron. patron. In any game of Root, you may add exactly three hirelings. However, most hirelings are associated with a faction, and you cannot play a faction in the game as its associated faction. You cannot play a faction in the same game as its associated faction. Cool. So, Shira, we're going to be producing some two-player gameplays, yeah. some multiplayer gameplays. I'm going to need to dive into, like, each one of these little hirelings for a full teach video on what yeah. they do and how they run. There's a lot of content here to dig into. This I am exciting. extremely excited about Where's this. The main Looks like we have a pack of cards for various landmarks as well. Do you have the knife over there? Do you have the knife? I have it. I want to see these landmarks that we got because they're going to add more presence as well on the board. Mm, reading the so that's, that's just going to be everything. That's the Marquis de Cat. That's the whole shebang. The tower, the fairy, legendary forge, Shira. There's what? a legendary location to build more relics <gasps> oh, and items. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, we have the Black Market. Okay. You want to read the Black Market? Yeah. Black Market. Once on their turn, a player with the faction pieces at the Black Market may swap any one face-down card next to the Black Market with a card from their hand, placing it face down. You're basically just putting something down there. No one knows what you put down, and you get what was put down there from before. The Elder Treetop. The Elder Treetop adds a building slot to its clearing. Whenever a player removes an enemy building from the Elder Treetop slot, they score an extra point. That's so cool. It's two points per building you remove from it, and you can build on it. Shira, are we or are we not playing with every... Every. Every location every, in play. Every. For, all at once. For a game. Everything. All all vagabonds, all factions, all in play. Oh my gosh. That would be insanely chaotic. <laughs> it would be you would be absolutely ridiculous. What are you the most excited about? What do you what do you want to dive into first? Ah, oh, I want to play the new factions. I want to see how those higher levels. Which one of the new factions though? I think that one actually. You want to go so for the badgers? Cute. The badgers are adorable. I want to burn down the forest. Yeah. Okay. You want to? You're moody. That's why you want some mood cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the hirelings? Do you know who you want to uh, ally with early? I don't know who. Uh, the raven. The raven sentries sound fun. Mole artisans. Does it say sound, what they do? Um, in battle, you deal an extra hit if the battle clearing has buildings or tokens of your faction. Cool. Um, Is there a back to them. What else do they have here? Uh, just set the setup. Up. Um. Who else it was looks? The Otter Divers. You ignore rule when moving to or from a clearing on the river. That's nice. Badger Bodyguards in battle, you ignore the first hit you take. That's cool. You just ignore a hit. If the dice rolls are like epically awful, um, who are these? The Rat Smugglers. Sorry. Rat Smugglers control or any time, any number of times in daylight, you may discard a card with an item in order to move or battle. You do not need to be able to craft it. So, wow. if you're watching, leave a comment down below. What factions do you want to see combined? What strategy guides do you want out early? Probably every day next week, I'm going to have a new video coming out on Root. And for those that have watched to this point, keep your eye out because I actually have an additional pledge on the way to do as a giveaway. Uh, so, if you want to get your hands on this, if you missed the Kickstarter, whatever it is, we're going to be doing a giveaway here on the channel uh, sometime soon. I love these cute little animals. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important Slaughter thing. forest creatures. No. What? No, be a vagabond. Oh. Rule them all. That's it. See you next time. Bye.